Hey everyone and welcome to the video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to process images and videos using your webcam within Google Collab. For the sake of today's tutorial, I will be using OpenCV's Har Cascade to run face detection on the images and video streams. So I hope you all enjoy and let's dive right in. All right, everyone. So this has been a highly requested video. Uh, a lot of comments on my previous Google Collab videos or tutorials saying, you know, how do I access my webcam uh, for image? How do I access my webcam for video? Um, so in today's video, I'm going to answer that and I'm going to show you guys how to process image and video from your webcam in Google Collab. So I hope you all enjoy it. Let's get to it. So first things first, you're going to be wanting to copy this Google Collab notebook and get it up and running for yourself. So there's two ways to do that. Um, the first is just to copy the link to the notebook in the description of this video. So it'll be down below in the description. Just copy over the link and then you should see a button uh, in the top left corner that says copy to drive. If you click that, you'll copy it over to your own Google Drive um, and then you can just start running it from there. The second way um, is going to be uh, my GitHub repository. I'll also link that down below. You can clone the, the notebook and then upload it to your own Google Collab. So the two ways, they both work the exact same. So whichever way you chose, you should now have a Google Collab notebook up and running. So you're gonna wanna first make sure you're connected to a runtime so that you're actually using a cloud VM, a workstation. So you're just gonna make sure that this says RAM or disk. If it doesn't, it'll just say connect and you're just gonna go ahead and hit that connect button. Then you're gonna go over to edit and go to notepad settings or notebook settings. Click that and you're gonna to wanna to select GPU. This is just a best practice. I'm not sure necessarily if we're gonna be using GPU for this tutorial, um, but I recommend doing this whenever you're opening a notebook. So first things first, you know, webcam is actually a difficult thing to connect in Google Collab um, because you're using a cloud VM, you're using another server, um, computer somewhere in the cloud, and it does not have a webcam. So the way we're gonna be connecting to your machine's webcam is through some JavaScript code. So we're gonna run some JavaScript code and it's gonna do the connection to your local webcam for you. So first you're just gonna go ahead and run the first cell to import the dependencies that we're gonna be using. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be doing um, some simple face detection. So we're gonna go ahead and run some helper functions. This is just gonna define a couple functions that will be converting the image files from JavaScript to OpenCV um, images. And then throughout the process, that's gonna help. So we're gonna be using those. And now let's go ahead and run our webcam in Google Collab on images. So the face detection we're gonna be doing is using Har Cascade Classifier. This is already pre-built into OpenCV. So it's super handy. So this cell right here, you go ahead and run it and it's just gonna initialize your face detection model. Um, so it's just out of the box. There is parameters you can use um, if you're trying to do some custom face detection, but that's not what this video is about. Um, so I urge you to look into that if you're curious. So webcam images uh, is actually pretty straightforward compared to video. It's a little bit easier. Um, there's actually a code snippet right here on the left side of your notebook. If you go and click this and go to camera capture, this is kind of the base template that I've used and I'm now editing. I've edited it for the purpose of our face detection. So you'll notice that this code is very similar. This is where I inserted it. You just expand this. I just went insert and then I've customized down here at the bottom section. So this part right here, it was just before, it was just saving the original webcam image. So if you were to insert this and just run it, it would just save a normal image um, to your workstation. But let's go ahead and run ours and we'll see what it looks like. So first, all we have to do is run this take photo function. And this first parameter right here is what it's gonna save the image afterwards as. So by default, it's just gonna save it to photo.jpg. And you can adjust the quality of the image if you want. So if you scroll down to the bottom of this function, this is the custom code that I have added that will actually take in the image 
transfer it over to an OpenCV format, then grayscale it for the purpose of the uh, face detection. Then I'm gonna do run the face detection on the gray image, and then for the loop through the faces and draw them on to the image itself. And then we're just gonna go ahead and save the image. So that's the custom code I've added for this simple face detection, and we'll now try it out. So to try it out, you're just gonna go ahead and run the cell. It should work, and if it doesn't, it says some type of error. You might not have a webcam, or your webcam might not be configured properly. So if we go ahead and run this, should open up your webcam. You should see an image of yourself. You're just gonna hit this capture button to do go ahead and do the detection. So I'll just come forward, capture, and the output should look something like this, where it's gonna be drawing a square bounding box around any faces detected within the image. And it should look, it should work right out of the box like that. So it's super simple and it saved it to photo.jpg. So if we go over here to the left side and look in our files and click on, double click on photo.jpg, you'll see it opens up the photo and it has saved it with the face detection. So it's super easy. And now that's how you do it on images. It just runs the JavaScript and then you hit the ca capture button and it will do a face detection on the image. So pretty straightforward. If you want to dive more into the J JavaScript code, um, I recommend you know just playing around with this take photo function. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory, um, and there is some documentation for Collab on it. And then the custom part I added right here does the face detection. So if you want to play around with the actual face detection that's being done, you can do so right in here. So for the actual video um, streaming within Google Collab. It's a little bit trickier, like I said, that the Im for images, because for video, you're just gonna have to constantly stream the video and do some type of processing or program, run the program on it. So like we did for the image, we're gonna be running our face detection using the heart cascade. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I've done this diagram for you. So what we do is we open up a video stream from the webcam and that's gonna show your face and we're just gonna keep it live running. And then at the same time, um, in parallel, we're gonna be doing the face detection and we're gonna be saving that as a transparent image, a sort of overlay. So that is only gonna have the bounding box um, as the image. So it's gonna be a blank image with only the bounding box, the face detection bounding box. And then we're gonna overlay it back onto our video stream in the next frame. Um, and it's gonna have a result that is the same as the image, but being able to actually stream and we'll see how it runs. So we have this very similar to our take photo, but for a video stream, it's gonna do some JavaScript um, that starts the video stream for us and keeps it running. So if you wanna play around with the actual video stream itself, I recommend uh, doing that, but also one thing to note is before in our image, we printed out the height of our video and the width of our video. So if you see values different than 480 and 640, down here in the video stream, you're gonna wanna go ahead and change all of the values where it's different. So you're just gonna go find 480 and 640 in this below code and change the values to what your height and width are. And there's a couple places to do that right here and up above. You're going to want to change that so that the overlay is being properly put onto the video stream and that the video stream is the proper height and width. So it might differ depending on your uh, output size. So after you've done that, all you do is run this cell below to start streaming from your video. Um, and then this is the code that does again, the face detection, very similar to the image. Um, it's pretty straightforward, um, but the additional th step this time is the transparent overlay with the bounding box. So right here, we're just creating a blank image of RGBA type. That's what this four right here is, four channels. And then it's our same height and width. And then after we detect our faces, we're just gonna go ahead and now put the rectangle bounding box onto our blank image instead of drawing it on to our grayscaled image. So that's kind of the difference. And then we go ahead and update this bbox, um, bbox bytes 
that gets fed into our video stream and adds the overlay onto the image. So it's pretty cool technique. Um, comment down below if you have a better technique for this. Um, I'd love to see so. Um, it's pretty hard to get video up and running properly in Google Collab, and this is a solution I found to work uh, pretty well. And I will be doing a video on YOLO object, YOLO object detections in video uh, in Google Collab for webcam. So let's go ahead and run it. So just run this cell, and you should see your stream open up, and you should start to see your face detections on it. As you can see, the out of the box car cascade model uh, parameters, I haven't tuned it all. So you're getting some misclassifications within the image. And you can see if you move around the screen, it follows you. But since you're writing one frame, you're always one frame behind. So it's never going to be perfect. But if you play around with the hard cascade parameters, you can actually get these false detections rid of. But as you can see, it's streaming the video and writing the bounding box onto the video stream as the next frame, it adds it to the next frame. So if you move really fast, it's a little bit lagged and behind, but overall it's still high frame rate, which is pretty impressive. And you can just click to end it. And now just to show you guys kind of what the transparent overlay image actually looks like, what I did was I just added a print statement right below this line right here to go ahead and print bbox bytes right here. That's going to be the actual bounding box overlay image. And what I did is I just went over to a base64 image converter. So the image is base64. Um, so you can just print that and then paste it in here. Uh, I just Googled base64 image converter. And yeah, you just hit generate image. And this is the image you receive. So you can see it's just a transparent image. Um, that's what the RGBA format does for you and you set it all to zeros, and then it has the bounding box of where the face is, and this is the image, this blank image, that it's gonna overlay to the video stream and get you that working uh, almost real time, one frame behind uh, video stream in Google Collab. So that's really it for this video. Um, I'm gonna be, like I said, having a video where I do this with YOLO v4 in Google Collab on the webcam, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you enjoyed the tutorial and you want to see more videos, always feel free to go check out my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not, because uh, I'm going to be start posting regularly again. And it would mean a lot to me. So thanks. Have a great day.